okay, this is not a prayerful decision. This is just ordinarily handing over to the son. Jimmy becoming the general overseer is not a problem. And I know he knows the Bible. I know he understands the ministry. Yeah. Do you think he fits the role of a general overseer? As Jimmy is present, he's far from me. And the first thing that I will encourage him to, I will suggest, remove the dreadlocks. But well, where in the Bible does he say he cannot have a title? Really? Yeah. Hi, so today I'm talking about hmm, Pastor Jimmy Odukoya. He has been announced as the general overseer of Fountain of Life Church. And it's pretty trending right now. Everybody's talking about it. Some are up and against it. Others are in support of it. What are your thoughts? Let me ask Mr. Brown what he thinks about it. Brown, so Jimmy is now the actor. He's also an actor. Okay. And he's a pastor okay. in the church. And um, they announced him. And they said, I think by the end of September 30th, they're going to officially hand over to him as a general overseer. Now, those who are criticizing are saying that mm, family business, yeah, they've handed over to the son. Others are saying he's a pastor and he deserves it. What do you think about this? The, um, for me, Jimmy becoming the general overseer is not a problem. Okay. They can call it whatever they want to call it. It's not the first time it's going gone, it's gone to happen in Nigeria where a son becomes the general overseer after the demise of the father. It happened with um, the Idahosas. The family took over the business. And if you look at the way um, the um, Bishop, business, church. Uh, Bishop Oedipo's church is going, you know that they are grooming that young man, David or, or, or I don't know his name. He's going to take over right. that church. So if this is happening now, I don't see a problem with it because one, I believe for him to have been the son of a pastor all his life, he would definitely, I believe his father groomed him well. And I know he knows the Bible. I know he understands the ministry. And I believe he has been walking along his father's ways, the way, the way of the Lord. I believe I don't have any problem. Those who are him. saying that, they making it look like a family business. Uh, so it's like even though, because there are other pastors who are also senior pastors, people are mm. automatically mm. assuming that uh, those are senior pastors that they should be given an opportunity to lead. Mm. Don't you mm. think, how do, how do you mm. think they will feel? For, for, first of all, I don't care what anybody says, whether they consider it to be a family business or it is not a family business. The mm. man, Odukoya himself, has labored in that vineyard. And for crying out loud, anything or any venture, any, uh, any form of activity that has a lot of money flowing around begins to look like a business. Now, what's the guarantee that the next man that you're talking about, one of the senior pastors, if he gets there, he's going to do better than Jimmy or anything. But I will give Jimmy that benefit because it's his father's, his father started the church. Yes, the, God, the church is God's church, but a man paid a price to mm. grow the church to that point. I, if, if that's what they have decided, I don't have a problem with Jimmy becoming so, the general So, for example, we go to RCCG. Yes. Do you think that Daddy Joe should hand over to his Daddy son? Joe is not the owner of the RCCG. Yeah, the way the RCCG has So, been, what if the family of the, um, the founder... Um, what's the founder? Our founder now. Yeah, Akinda Yomi. Akinda, somebody, father, one of his students says, you know what, Daddy J has done his turn on, hand over to our family because we own well, our Well, but at the time of the handover, Akinda Yomi did not hand over to his son. Akinda Yomi personally selected that Daddy Joe, that that's the person the Lord has revealed to him. Right. And Daddy Joe should take over. And if Daddy Joe gets old enough, it's about time to hand over. If he feels the Lord spoke to him that he should be his son, maybe let's see how it goes. But he, he will probably... So let's talk be. about this, this handing over to children. Yes. Do you think it's biblical? Do you think... Because according to what the pastor in Fountain of Life said, yes. they unanimously and after prayerfully yeah. discussed yes. it. Some would think, okay, this is not a prayerful decision. This is just ordinarily handing over to the son. But do you think Moriah. God would approve Moriah. it? Yeah. It is not every time that the Lord is so involved in certain things to the extent that he will reveal that this is the next person that will take over. It happened like that with the RCCG. The Lord made a clear revelation that take um, Enoch Adejare Adeboye, that will be your successor. It was clear, and you can see the manifestation of it. So if this church ha ha has not been informed by God, making 
Jimmy the Geo. If it is not the decision of God, it will all play out in years to come. Mm. It will definitely affect the growth or the eventuality of the church. Do you agree with him being the pastor? Absolutely. I don't have any problem with that. Another part of this com conversation mm. is the person of Jimmy. Yes. He's an actor. I've yes. seen him personally kiss yes. in a movie. Yes. Um, he has the very modern um, Gen Z look, yes. you know, biceps, you know, yes. he's very attractive, yes. has a hairdo. Yes. Do you think he fits the role of a general overseer? Well, as Jimmy is presently, yes. he's far from it. Okay. With his so dreadlocks, with his tattoo, he does not look. Okay. like a general, general overseer. Okay. At the time he was building his look, he was building his look for film, yeah. for the industry. He didn't expect his father to die suddenly. Mm. He didn't expect to assume this new role. Mm. But that look, the tattoo, the biceps, they are not for the altar. They are for the movies. But now that he has assumed a new role, uh -huh. I think he should have a rethink. And so I you think tattoo? the first, no, you see, tattoo is permanent. Okay. If he can get a laser removal, yeah. if it can ah, be removed. But where in the Bible does it say you cannot have a tattoo? Really? Yes. Are you asking me that question? Doesn't tell you not to use but tattoo in the Bible. For crying out loud, it's clearly written in, in, in the book of Leviticus, chapter 19, somewhere. The Old Testament. You see, that is the mistake the church is making and the whole world about the Old Testament. The real standards of character and behavior. They are clearly listed out in the Old Testament. But because we quickly call it the Old Testament, we dissuade more or less our children from reading it. Whereas that is the whole manual of conduct in the society, a complete manual. That is where it is. But you quickly call it Old Testament. It doesn't mean the New Testament negates the Old Testament. The only difference is that in the era, era of the New Testament, there is a place for mercy. There is a place for forgiveness because the blood of Jesus has paid for that. Okay. But it doesn't change the roots. Right. Thou, so thou shalt not is, kill is Old Testament, right? Yeah. Thou shalt not kill. Thou shalt not steal. By the shedding of the blood of Christ, does it say thou can now kill? No. Thou can now steal? No. So the rules of the Old Testament are still applicable in the New Testament. It's just that there is room for I don't forgiveness. Want us to go because, of, because of timing, I don't want us okay. to go that deep. Okay. But what does his hair have to do with? In, the, in, in Leviticus, it is clearly written, no tattoos. Are you with me? It is categorically stated somewhere. In, in, now, look at generally the perception of hairstyle, that particular dreadlocks. What, how do Nigerians view it? I checked Wikipedia recently. And it says it is, um, it is a stereotype for criminals and gangs. But that is how people Peter, perceive you know that there are, there are pastors in the U.S. that have dreadlocks. There okay. are pastors in the U.S. that have tattoos. Okay. They wear t-shirts on the altar. They don't oh, wear okay. suits. Okay. They, are, they, are, they, 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 are, they are on the altar. Now, and, and the they are question I am asking you yeah. now, are you a pastor in the U.S.? Is Fountain of Life in Ilipe, Ilupeju huh? or New York? It's a the global... fountain of life is in Ilupeju. The people coming be, there. It can be in the U.S. because we are all online. Everybody has online sweetheart, activities right now. Sweetheart, at this point, I'm going to be very candid. Okay. The fact that Jimmy is Jew, I think I have a little bit of trust in him being yeah. Odukoya's son. Being yeah. Odukoya's son. Right. Are you with me? But you see, that look mm -hmm. is for the movies. It, it's a lot of attention on the person, the physical appearance. That is not the essence of a general overseer. Biceps, triceps, tattoos, six-pack, two-pack, dreadlocks. That is not what a general overseer is about. That means perception. Yes, what a general overseer is, is about is how do you shepherd your flock? How many days do you spend fasting and praying? How well do you understand so the Bible and happened, you give a proper this role, message? This role happened to him. He will, in the next few months, that is what I see, said. This, the, isn't that what I said? Mm. That he just assumed a new role. Yeah. Now he should grow into the new role. All right, we'll see how that goes. Yes. Sorry? He has always been a pastor. Well, at that time, he wasn't solely responsible for the church. He had yeah. another vocation. He was he going had into the movies. And tries it as a pastor at, and was preaching on the Wait, on the wait. At that time, he was an actor. With this new role, will he still be acting? We don't know yet. We'll see. I don't think so. The job it's as a, a new world. I, I, keep saying I, that I don't think so. Okay. Because the work in Fountain of Life 
is an enormous work. Okay. To deal with that kind of church, with that large congregation, it's enormous. And I think Jimmy should not be fighting this battle at this time. Okay. We have a lot of compassion for him because his father passed, his mother passed, his step stepmother passed, his uncle passed. His auntie. His aunt, yeah, passed. So I have a lot of compassion for him personally. And I expect him to grow into that role of the Jew very quickly. And the first thing I will encourage him to, I will suggest, remove the dreadlocks. Look like a typical pastor here. I don't doubt the content in him. I don't doubt his spirituality. Okay. I have a lot of confidence right. in him. But you see the dreadlocks, cut it. Um, he, he needs more time to fast now than okay. being in the gym. All That's right. my take on it. Okay. All right. Thank you. <laughs>